Hello guys! In this video, we're gonna build a Swift UI view capable to render a GIF image in the screen. Let's get started and explore how to do it. My name is Pete, and this, this is Swift and Tips. Okay, the first thing we need is a GIF image, so let's get one from the internet. I will use this one, this beautiful Pokeball that was made by Clean Hest from Dribble.com. What I'm going to do is uh, just save it. And now let's get the image and import it in the project. Remember to use this option, copy items if needed. Okay, we got the GIF now. One first approach is trying to use image in this GIF image. Let's see if that is possible. As you can see, we got nothing. Mm, let's try in the simulator. Yeah, you got nothing because GIF image is not supported for image view. We need then to find a way how to display GIF image. How to do it? It turns out that you can use a web view and render that GIF right away in the screen. But right now, we don't have support for web view in SwiftUI. The thing we need to do in this case is create a UI view representable. You know how to do it already. If not, there is a link in the description and a card if you want to see that video first. Okay, first let's create our GIF image view. Now then we will have to use a UI view representable, so let's use it instead of view. In this case, we will use WK WebKit. Don't forget to import WebKit. Okay, in this make UI view, we need to set up our web view. For that, let's create a web view. Okay, now we need to do the setup for a web view. We need to provide a URL to read our content. For that, we will use bundle.main.url that will give us access to the resources inside of the files of the applications. In this case, we want to read pockable.gif. You have a lot of initializers here, we're going to use this one, URL for resource with extension. Our resource is literally the name of the resource, in this case is Pockable. But we want to use this GIF image for any kind of GIF image, right? Let's provide that name from a parameter. And let's create an initializer just to try to make the similar initialization like image. Now we have the name, so let's use it. We will use name as the resource. And the extension, of course, is GIF. Okay, we have the URL. Now we need to extract the information from that URL. For that, we will create a data object. Here will happen a couple of things. First, URL needs to be not optional. And this is one of the few cases using a force wrapping is good because, well, if we plan to send this application, that resource should be there. So we want before to send into production that everything, every resource is there. And if we have a static resource like this GIF image, well, we want to make the app crash if that's it's not there. For that, let's use force and wrap. And also this data initialization is um, trouble. We need to use try. And here we can use a force try because well, again, we should have that image in our app. But remember, just be careful using force and wrapping or force try if you are not sure that your data will be there. Okay, we have the data in the place. Now we finally need to load the resource in the web view. For that, we will use webview.load. Again, you have a lot of initializations. We're going to use this one. 
here you will provide a data object. We have that already. We have the MIME type. In this case, like a regular web page, we will use an image slash GIF to represent that we will display a GIF image. For character encoding name, we should use UTF-8. And for base URL, let's use our regular URL, but remove the last part. Sorry, it was deleting last part. I guess we are close to finish. Now let's go to update UI view. And in this case, we don't have a special requirement, but just for the purpose of the demo, let's use UI view dot reload. Just to reload the content again, once we got an update. Now we will need to fix this so we can just provide a GIF image. Okay, everything is ready to compile. So let's go now to content view. Now, instead of using image, let's use GIF, GIF image. Let's compile and it's working. Let's try this in the canvas. There you go. We have finally our GIF image in the screen and it's bouncing. Let's now run it in the simulator. Awesome. It's also working. Amazing. Now let's try this in a list. You know, maybe because maybe you want to create a loading animation. Well, in this case, you want to use a GIF image for that. So let's transform this simple view into a list, a list of GIF images. OK, here is the thing. You need to set up the size of the frame for this GIF image, because remember, well, it's a web view under the hood. But uh, at the end, you need to set up more about what is exactly the position or other things. I will leave it up to you. For this demo, let me just apply a frame for 200 of height and width. Let's try again in the preview canvas. There you go. We have now all the Pokeball GIF in the screen. And now let's run it in a simulator. Okay, before ending, there is one last thing we need to do. Since that this is a web view, and for example, we have a list here, well, in some cases, web view could be, you know, scrollable, horizontal and vertical. We want to avoid that. Let's just disable the scrolling. Let's go to GIF image and just simple use web view dot scroll view dot is scroll enable equal to false. Let's go back. And there you go. You have these beautiful Pokeballs jumping in the screen. Remember that if you want to learn more about UI kit and Swift UI integration, check out my playlist. There are great videos about that and explaining in detail all the options you have for that. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much and have a great day.